Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today I'm doing a after update video. It's been like weeks since I did my last after update because I've done like other after content like my reaction videos and breaking down the trailer and my Tessa ASMR video so I'll link all of those if you haven't seen them yet but today we're just going to be talking about some of the things that have been going on with the movie and production and things that have come out and just like all exciting things. I feel like there's so much stuff that's been going on that I might not get to all of it or cover all of it in this video but if there is more that you want to talk to me about definitely go on my Twitter or my Instagram and we can talk about it on there or even leave a comment down below but I'm just gonna go ahead and try to like break down some of the stuff that's been happening these last few weeks. Um, I think I'm gonna start with just kind of like news about the movie that we've heard from Anna herself. She did have a little uh, signing in Texas I believe last week where she kind of spilled a little bit of tea on some things going on with the movie so I think that's where we're gonna start. One thing that Anna did say at this little signing is that they are working on doing a cast tour um, for when the movie comes out around the United States probably which would be so exciting and fun and if they had one in Boston I would be there if they had one anywhere honestly that's like around me I would be there like New York we're going road trip anywhere else in New England we're going road trip like I will literally travel for this tour um, another fun thing she said is that they're working on the premiere and whether they're gonna have it in LA or in New York so I'm really hoping for New York because I live near New York and that would just be like cool because I could you know, try to go <laughs> and scoop it out, but I feel like either way it'll be really fun and exciting. So regarding just like the movie, um, Anna did say that Josephine is in every single scene of the movie, except for the scene that we see in the trailer of Hardin smashing his guitar on the bookshelf, which is super interesting to me. So we're not really gonna see any of like Hardin on his own type scenes, which I think is important because you know the first book is told completely in Tessa's point of view. So I think like when moving on to further movies, hopefully we will see stuff just from his point of view as well because you know we get the mixed POVs in the further books. But I think for the purpose of the first movie, it is important that we just mostly see Tessa's point of view. But I am excited that we get a little bit of a Hardin scene too. So that's really fun. Um, another thing that Anna talked about, and I actually saw a video that somebody posted on. On Twitter where she talked about this is Hardin and kind of his attitude in the movie versus the book. A lot of people fault the book obviously for Hardin's kind of toxic personality and ways that he talks to Tessa and just kind of his anger um, which I think is like a valid point and I understand completely when people do say that um, but Anna did say that they made him a lot softer for the movie and I think even a lot of us could tell just watching the trailer he does seem a lot more calm and a lot nicer to Tessa in a way like not nice but just like not as yelly and kind of rude to her out like outright you know so I think that's very interesting and I'm kind of glad that they're doing that I know some people are probably pissed and they just want like their edgy Harden back but I feel like this is going to help us a lot as like a community as a fandom when other people are gonna see this movie because I feel like people are already hating on us so much for supporting this book because it's you know it's abusive like it's not but everybody already like hates us for that so the fact that they're kind of making him a little more soft um in the movie i feel like people are gonna see the movie and be like oh okay so it's like it's not like this it's not like that so i think that's gonna help us in a way and also anna said that if she could have gone back and kind of rewritten some of the book she might not have made him so aggressive in some points which i think is a valid point you know she was just like writing this book on her free time on wattpad like she did not expect it to be like what it is um so i feel like that's totally valid and i'm actually really excited to kind of see the changes they make with Hardin's character I think that's gonna be interesting another thing that Anna said is that we have a possibility of getting two more movies if the box office on this first one does well so I think we've all been saying it but guys like go see this movie multiple times take your friends take your boyfriend take your brother take your sister take your mom take your grandma take anybody that loves a good a good romance movie because we need the box office sales to get these future movies um, and I did say that we're gonna get two movies hopefully so not four or not you know, four in total, three in total. So there's gonna be three, not four. So two more, not three more. Am I making sense? Okay. Um, anyway, so she said there's a possibility that we're gonna get two more movies and that they could be up to three hours long. And now I don't know how I feel about that personally. I feel like everyone's been kind of like, ooh, that's really exciting. But I don't know how I feel about a three hour movie. Like I feel like that's a little long and I would almost rather get 
three more movies than two really long ones. I don't know, I just feel like it kind of draws you away. Like sitting in a theater for three hours is just kind of long to me. Obviously I would do it for the sake of after and I'd probably still enjoy it and be really excited. I feel like people would kind of be drawn away to seeing it if they heard that it was three hours long. That just seems kind of ridiculous to me, but I don't know, I'm not judging. I'll probably not care anyway if that's what they end up doing. But it's just interesting that that's kind of the route they're planning on taking, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, another thing that a lot of people have been asking me about is the poster and the trailer and the official ones. So the trailer and the poster that came out last month were both like the teaser versions. The full length trailer and the actual real poster are both coming out around mid January. So that's really exciting. We did hear previously that it would be like December, January ish. So mid January is like our official little time zone. So that's super exciting. Um, I'm really excited to see the full trailer. Like the teaser trailer was so much for me. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna sit through like a two minute, 30 second trailer when I could barely get through a minute long one, but I'm really excited for that to come. I feel like time has been flying by, like it's already December, like mid-December. What? <laughs> like I started doing these videos in May, like it's really crazy, um, but I'm so excited to just see more stuff coming out. It's, it's really exciting guys. Oh, two other things that Anna said about Harden is one regarding his tattoos. They're planning on giving him more tattoos in the second film if it happens. Um, apparently like there was some type of complication and they only had so many tattoos for him on the first day of filming. So hopefully they'll, you know, give him more tattoos and he can like have more because we all know him as having like a lot of tattoos. Um, obviously regarding the piercings, we've heard this before, is that they just looked awkward on his face so they decided to omit them, which I think is perfectly fine. I'd rather have a nice looking hero than a weird stupid piercing looking hero. So <laughs> I'm totally fine with whatever goes. Um, another really funny thing that Anna said is that originally there was a company, I don't remember, maybe Paramount, who wanted to make After into a TV show and they wanted to make Harden a DJ he would never <laughs> he would never be a DJ like that is so funny and I just feel really happy that Anna knows like exactly what she wants and she knows exactly what we want and she was like they would never take that I feel like Anna really like sticks with us and knows exactly like what we want it's the same kind of thing that she wants and she would never give us like less than perfect for this film which is why I like really trust her with this and I'm really excited for the movie because if she's super happy with it then I think we should all be really happy with it as well so that's really exciting I'm really happy they didn't do that. Also a TV show I would have hated. I feel like that wouldn't have worked well, um, but definitely not Harden as a DJ. That's really interesting. <laughs> Another really exciting thing that actually came out today is this 12 days of Hessa thing that the After account is doing. Um, they just posted a little teaser thing of Josephine wearing a Santa hat, looking adorable. Um, so I guess, you know, today it's 12 days until Christmas. So they're planning on doing a little something every single day for the After fans, which I'm super excited to see. Um, if you want Want, like my daily reactions to that you'll have to follow me on my Twitter I might post about it on Instagram but mostly Twitter is where I do all of my my fangirling moments and I always try to reply to you guys if I can sometimes it gets overwhelming but just keep keep messaging me I'll eventually reply I promise um, so if you want to see like my everyday responses to all of the stuff that's gonna come out definitely follow me on there I'm super excited to see what is to come oh okay sorry I'm looking at my phone because I asked you guys what I should talk about um, the merch that came out there was three pieces of merch that came out a few weeks ago. I never got to talk about that on here. There was a t-shirt and two sweatshirts and I bought the shirt so we're waiting for that to come. It's been like three weeks already. It said it would take like three weeks to ship so I guess we'll see it when we see it but I'm really excited for that. Hopefully there's more merch that comes out. I wasn't like really impressed with it. It was just kind of like okay like it's cute I guess. I got the one with like the picture of them on it because I wanted it but I don't know. I feel like they could do better and I hope that they do better. I hope there's more designs that come out. Um, but that's kind of cool. Also, something that everybody's been asking me to talk about is the after Instagram accounts and all of the accounts that they made for the characters. Um, I think it's like a funny, cute thing that they did. If you don't know, they made accounts for like Harden and Tessa and like all the other characters and they like interact with each other and post pictures like as if they're that person. Um, and I think it's kind of funny, but I don't really follow them. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I kind of go and look at them every now and then, but 
Honestly, like Hardin would never have an Instagram and if he did like he wouldn't post on it Nor would he reply to random people's comments Tessa's would probably be like privated I feel like Tessa's really out there like responding to people so I don't know it's kind of silly it's just kind of like a fun thing they did, I understand that, but I'm not like 100% invested in it if I'm being real with you guys, but it is kind of funny and it's enjoyable to look at every now and then. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw the little videos of Hero and Josephine for the Italian trailer, teaser trailer of them talking. It was so cute. Um, <laughs> Hero is just like so adorable. I don't know, so is Josephine. They've both been pretty active on their Instagrams as well lately, which has had me like shook because they're never on there. Hero was in America for a little bit in New York posting a bunch of stuff. Josephine was posting pictures. They're both just like so perfect. I'm just so happy with them as as Hessa. Like it's just so perfect, you know? I feel like I covered like a decent amount of stuff that's gone on. If there's more, please let me know. Um, obviously I'm gonna have a lot more after related content out there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little ASMR video, by the way. It was completely just like for fun, like a joke. Like it wasn't meant to be taken seriously, but like if you did take it seriously and like it actually gave you ASMR, I love that for you and I'm really happy. Um, I'm planning on doing a Molly ASMR video as well. So let me know if you're excited for that. It's gonna be a makeup role play. So I'm really excited to do that one. I'm also thinking about doing like a Tessa um, lookbook. So if that's something you guys are interested in, please let me know. So many things are like on the horizon right now for after. Like there's gonna be so many things coming out super soon and it's gonna be April before we know it. So it's so exciting. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys have anything else that you want me to talk about in a future after update, let me know down below. And again, follow me on all of my socials to get updates from me daily about after because I'm basically an after account on my Twitter now. Like it's all I talk about. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not already. You can also turn on my post notifications to get notified whenever I post a new video. But other than that, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you all very soon in a new video. Bye!